Hi everybody, I'm Lisa Buskey and I am your Epicure Consultant today. Thank you for watching my channel, Keeping It Real, Cooking with Lisa. And I am so glad you're here. So today what we're gonna do is we are gonna be making general sal chicken. We're making general sal chicken, a pumpkin pie, and sweet banana bread. And the reason we're doing this is because people have been asking me, what is Epicure? How do I use Epicure? Like, what is this all about? That's what I wanna know. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna show you what this meal seasoning packet is all about and how easy and how much time you're gonna save in the kitchen by using Epicure's meal options. And then I'm also gonna show you how you can take Epicure's dip mixes and whip up a dip in like less than four minutes. So we're gonna have a lot of fun. Stay tuned. I'm gonna be back in five, four, three, two, one. And we're back. So I have my countertop all set up for us. And the first thing I'm going to do for our general sow is I am gonna make our rice. And I'm going to use Epicure's multi-purpose steamer. It has three holes on the top. It comes with the lid, the base, and this great little trivet, which you can use as a shelf to make bacon or potato chips. Oh, so good. All right. But I don't... Uh, I do need that. I don't need the lid. I'm going to set my lid over here because I'm not going to use it. And I already pre-measured my two cups of rice using my Epicure Perfect Portion Scoops. So when I do my meal prep, um, these are for your meats, protein, and their starch. And then there's one for your veggies and one for your healthy fats. And then those handles just snap right together so that they're ready to go. So I already pre-measured my two cups of rice and I pre-measured my four cups of water. So I'm just gonna set that there. And now one thing I always use is a broth. And today I'm gonna use the Nourish Broth to add a little flavor to my rice. So I'm gonna use my four-in-one measuring spoon from Epicure. Just one tablespoon of the Nourish Broth. This is just one way to use the Nourish Broth. I'm gonna stir that around into my rice and water. I'm gonna take my trivet, I'm gonna put it upside down to put it on my rice. And that's gonna help keep the rice from boiling over. And then the next thing we're gonna do is put this in the microwave for 12 minutes. Yep, you heard that right, 12 minutes. So let's get that started. Now while our rice is cooking, what we wanna do is mix our general sow seasoning, okay? because we want to mix that ahead. So this is the general sow. I'm going to cut from the bottom so that I can kind of prop it on the counter in a tent. So you open up the meal packet. So this was the meal packet. I've cut it off and put it in my four cup prep bowl. Now on the back, you have the recipe telling you exactly how to use this seasoning packet. And we need to add a quarter cup of water cup of water where'd you go all right so i have a quarter cup of water pre-measured out in my one cup prep bowl i'm going to put that in the one cup prep bowls do come in a set of four and then we need two tablespoons of soy sauce which i do use liquid aminos because it has less sodium and then we need two tablespoons of ketchup okay and so what i'm going to do is stir that around Okay, and we're just gonna let this seasoning sit. So it was that easy. I cut open my general sauce seasoning packet, put it in my four cup prep bowl, and mixed in the ingredients as per the recipe. Now the next thing on the recipe is to cut our chicken and our vegetables. So I have our, my vegetables are already pre-washed and right here. And so I'm gonna use my Prep Pro Chef knife to cut my three peppers. And I like to add a little red onion. That's not in the recipe, but that's something I like to do. 
So let's get chopping. All right, so I've cut half of my peppers. I'm using my Prep Pro Chef knife, my cutting mats. The cutting mats come in a set of four. You get two large and two small, a gray and a purple of each. And yes, Epicure's colors are purple because the founder, Sylvia Rochette's favorite color is purple. So you get purple. So we're just chopping up our peppers and we're gonna set them to the side. And then we're gonna cut our chicken. But do you see how easily the knife cuts right through these peppers? I love that, right? So now I'm just gonna do my onion really quick. But I wanted you to see how easy it was to cut with my Prep Pro knife, okay? This is the Prep Pro Chef knife, and sometimes they have a special for the um, paring knife. So if you ever see that paring knife go on sale, make sure you get one. I know I'm getting a couple more. So we're just gonna slice up our onion. And because it's on a cutting mat, I can pick up my mat and just slide my onion in. And I'm just gonna set my peppers and onions to the side. Now we wanna cut our chicken. And when, when we cut our chicken, we're gonna put it in a little baggie with um, cornstarch. And that's on the recipe. You'll notice that the chicken is partially frozen and my knife is not having to work any harder to go through this frozen chicken than it did to go through the pepper. So what is the benefit and what is Epicure? Epicure is gluten-free, GMO-free, no artificial flavorings, no artificial sugars, um, no preservatives, and it's low in sugar and low in salt. And some of the products even have no salt which is a bonus. So I am turning my wok on really quick, which you can't see. So let me shine you over here. So what we're gonna do, you never want your meat to go into a cold pan. So I am putting some olive oil in my pan and I've turned my wok up to like a medium high. All right, so that while we're cooking the chicken, cutting the chicken, the wok is heating up. And I said, oh, I should wait, my chicken's not thawed. But I wanna show you that I've come home and decided, you know what? I want General Sow, or I want sweet and sour chicken, and it's this easy. Your meat can be frozen, and look at how my Prep Pro Chef knife, it is a ceramic knife. Look how easily that's cutting through even frozen meat. All right, so I'm gonna put that next breast. The recipe calls for one pound of chicken. On all of Epicure seasonings, anything I have tried, and I've tried many, I won't say I've tried all, I haven't had that much time on my hands, but I've tried many, um, most probably is a better way, and I always double my protein. So you take this meal packet, you keep track, all right, it tells you exactly what you're gonna need, so you just put that right on your grocery list because it tells you exactly what proteins and, you know, like staples. You know, staple items are like your oil and cornstarch and, you know, those things that most people already have in their house. Or exactly how much. So you don't even have to worry. There's no guessing. And it's right there. So I have two pounds of chicken because it calls for one. And I've doubled it. And what I'm doing, as per the recipe, is putting it in a little baggie with cornstarch and coating it with cornstarch. I'm not adding any extra oils or anything onto this because I don't want any of that extra oil in the preservatives. So, frozen, and look, it cuts right through, all the way through. This Prep Pro knife is fabulous. So we're gonna shake, and then we're gonna head back to the wok. Are you ready? All right, so we're gonna shake, shake, shake. Make sure there's cornstarch on all of that chicken. I cut that last breast. 
I'm going to take the lid off of my Active Care Walk, which is fabulous, okay? And I'm going to put my chicken right into my wok. I'm going to throw that bag over here in the garbage. I'm going to use my Epic Here Saute Spoon. These are all one piece. You'll notice there's no break, so you never have to worry about using your nail or a utensil to get all of the bacteria and the germs out. Now what you want to do is you want to let that sit and cook a few minutes on its own. So while that chicken cooks partially through, because we don't want to add our seasoning yet, we are going to make pumpkin pie. So I'm going to tip this upside down to open it. You do not have to tip it upside down. I do it upside down so I can set this on my counter. And our rice is finished. So it's been 12 minutes if you're, you know, timing how long we've been on. So what I do is I dump my pumpkin pie seasoning. It'd be like buying a box mix at the store, except for Epic here uses bags for all of their seasonings and baked goods to save on the environment. Instead of having a big box, you just have a quick bag that dissolves easier. And then we need to add one can of coconut milk and one and bring it to a boil. So what we're gonna do, put it up high. I am gonna use my Epicure whisk. Love this whisk. All right, and we're gonna bring that to a boil. Take it off the heat and add one can of pumpkin immediately. Now notice, this is your pumpkin pie seasoning. It comes in this bag, okay? And the recipe is right here on the back, just like you would get a box at the store, okay? It's that easy, it's that fun. So now, my chicken is cooking, and while my chicken is cooking, I am whipping up my pumpkin. So, because our rice just come out, you know it's only been 12 minutes, because I had set the timer for 12 minutes. And I didn't add any time or take any time off. So let's take out our rice so that you can see. So I'm gonna take that out of the microwave. I'm gonna get a different saute spoon because I'm using the other one over on the stove. All right, what I'm gonna do is take that off. This is hot. I mean, it's been in the microwave for 12 minutes, okay. Try to get off all the rice I can. I'm gonna give it a stir. Now you'll notice that, you know, you're thinking, oh, it's not quite finished. You are right. Let me show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna take that lid that I set to the side and we're just gonna cover it up. And right now I have it sitting on my Epicure roll-up rack, which is great as a trivet or as, um, you can set all your hot stuff right on here. So the plate underneath only makes it a little easier when things are heavy because Epicure's everything, the cooking grade silicones, they are silicone. They're microwave safe and oven safe up to 450 degrees. So our rice is out. We're gonna come back to the stove. I'm gonna give my chicken a stir. You don't wanna be um, opening this and turning it a lot because you want that crisp, that cornstarch on the chicken to get nice and crispy. Because we're not going to add our peppers and the seasoning until we get a little crisp on that chicken. Our pumpkin is almost boiling, which is great. And I'm actually going to be doing two desserts for, with you today. So while we wait for our pumpkin to boil, what we're gonna do is make banana muffins. All right, so this is Epicure's banana bread. It's just like buying a box mix of banana bread at the store, okay? It's just that it's in a bag instead of a box. I already have my bananas pre-portioned and pre-measured, and the recipe is on the back. We're gonna mash the bananas with two eggs, um, a third cup of oil, and then, because it is gluten-free, all of Epicure's products are gluten-free, I have my pre-measured oil, one-third cup, measured out in my one-cup prep bowl, and I have my two eggs pre-measured, okay? And they come in a set of four, remember. But with um, 
gluten-free breads and baked goods, you want to make sure that they set for at least 20 minutes before you bake them. You gotta let the science behind the banana bread or the gingerbread or the shortbread, and all of these are available right now through Epicure when you go to lisabusky.epicure.com. So I'm just gonna beat that because it's gotta sit for 20 minutes. You can do it sooner. I mean, you really can. I've been really craving the Epicure brownies and I've whipped them up, put them in the microwave and ate them. But um, they don't get as much rise or fluff to them. So it does you know, benefit you to sit them aside for 20 minutes. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, that's gonna come to a boil, it's almost there. Now, I'm gonna give, do you hear that crunch? That's what I'm looking for. So I've got the crunch on my chicken. And there was a little olive oil in there. Now what I'm gonna do is add those peppers and onions that we cut earlier. Okay. And I'm gonna add that seasoning. Remember we pre-mixed it in the four cup prep bowl. And all we did was take this package, dump it in, add the ingredients, and now we're following the recipe. That's what Epicure is all about. It's about offering you quick, easy, healthy meal solutions so that you can make dinner in 20 minutes. I'm gonna turn this down to a medium so it can really absorb that general south flavor and I'm going to add just a little water because that's what I do and I'm going to put my lid on and let it steam okay our pumpkin is boiling so once that seasoning packet and um, the coconut butter starts to boil you take it off of the stove immediately all right and then we're going to add our canned pumpkin. I'm going to get my corner spatula. And you can get all of Epicure's utensils in one collection. They have a utensil collection. And that's available at lisabusky.epicure.com. So Epicure's meal options and seasonings are just like going to the grocery store, you know, and buying a box mix or a package of fajita seasoning or taco seasoning. But the beauty with Epicure, well, one of the beauties, there's many, is that this is delivered right to your house. You don't even have to go to the store. You can have all of your seasonings delivered right to the door, ready to go. You don't even have to go to the store. And it even puts in bold the ingredients that you need to buy, which how fabulous is that? All right, so for our pumpkin pie, we just did the seasoning packet with one can of coconut milk, heated it on the stove until boiling, took it off of the heat, added one can of pumpkin puree. I'm using my Epicure roll-up rack so I don't burn my counter. Use my Epicure whisk to beat it all in there. Throw that in the sink. And if you want a full pie crust you could make your pie crust and pre-bake it um but we don't honestly care if it's in a graham cracker crust for thanksgiving i do make my homemade crust and pre-bake it because this doesn't need to go in the oven it is going to go right in the refrigerator the pumpkin pie is done pumpkin pie is done folks can you believe it so I'm gonna take this, and pumpkin pie is finished. Put it in the refrigerator to chill. If you have to make six pumpkin pies for Thanksgiving, you can make six pumpkin pies in less than 10, 15 minutes using Epicure seasonings. All right, I'm put that there. So now, our general sow, is smelling 
and looking stellar. I'm going to turn my heat up just a little to like a medium high now because now it's nice and warm. The chicken's almost cooked all the way through. And what we're going to do is I am going to use and I did leave out, this is the four cup prep bowl with the lid and the one cup prep bowl with the lid just so you can see the differences in size. Now, today for my um, dessert, I'm going to use my perfect petite pan, okay? This is the perfect petite pan, and it is a cooking grade silicone. It can go in the oven up to 450 degrees. But I am going to place it on my Epicure sheet pan, the full size. And when you need the liner, you can also get the Epicure liner, which these make great instead of using foil when you're covering your food in the oven. Use a liner instead and you're saving, helping the environment, which who doesn't want to help the environment? Now you can't use aerosol sprays on Epicure's cooking grade silicones. And a lot of times you don't even need any oils, but I plan on popping out these banana breads while they're warm. So what I've done is give it a little spritz of olive oil. It's a spritzer, so it's straight olive oil. There's no paraffins or stuff. I'm gonna use my Epicure scoop. This is the two tablespoon scoop. And it's in towards the back of the catalog. If you just go to lisabusky.epicure.com, type scoop, and you will um, find we have a quarter cup scoop and the two tablespoon scoop. So we have a small and a medium, which is good. Now I guess one's small and one's kind of large, but now it's only been 10 minutes for the baked goods. But what I'm gonna do is just get them set in my pan. So that way they're gonna kind of settle in to my perfect petite pan. Now, one thing I've always said, I wish this fit in the microwave because um, I like to make protein bars in my Perfect Petite Ban because they're just the right size. And But you know, you still have to, because it's going in the oven, you can't cook it faster. Well, now when you book a party, in the month of November 2021, because this is when this is recorded, um, you could actually earn, as a host is exclusive, a microwave perfect petite pan, which I think is so exciting. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do, because some of these I got a little too much in, so I'm just gonna go through, because I didn't give them even scoops, that was my fault, not the scoops fault. <laughs> You know, not the scoop's fault. It would be the scooper that was having issues, not the scoop. <laughs> All right, so we have our banana bread is in. It's in the perfect petite pan. We'll fill that with some water so it can soak. And let's go and check our general sow. I'm going to bring it with me. What do you think? All right, so here I am. And once I can figure out how to flip you around, I will. Maybe not. All right, ready? Three, two, one. And we're back. Our general sow is done. It's getting a nice crisp. And this is the Epicure Walk a little stick on the bottom because I was over talking with you which I had my um, corner spatula let me grab it and I'm going to show you how the corner spatula just cleans that right up I'll be right back so there we go I had to wash my corner spatula I only have one but notice how it's coming right up now because that corner spatula just gives a little bit more lift and our chicken from frozen 
is done, and it's been 30 minutes exactly. So from Frozen, we have a delicious General Sal dinner. Now, let's make our rice, okay? So I'm taking my lid off. There's our rice. And with that, our dinner is done. And it has been 34 minutes exactly, which three and a half of those was me setting this up, putting it on a dish. So that's one package. You always double your protein. It called for one pound of chicken. We did two. So that's how and what Epicure seasonings are. It is a packet. You dump the seasonings in and then follow the recipe. Exactly. And then you get a delicious general style chicken meal. And then we did our rice in the Epicure multi-purpose steamer for 12 minutes using the nourish broth. And remember, I showed you, you said, oh, it's not quite done. And here it is after just letting the lid sit for a couple minutes while the general sow finished. Now, don't go away. I'm going to be right back and I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to use Epicure's dips to whip up a dip. Okay, so one more thing people have asked me about. How does this save me time and money in the kitchen? Let me show you. We are gonna make some creamy ranch dip. So I'm going to bring you down to my counter. I have my four cup prep bowl and my one cup prep bowl. The recipe calls for three tablespoons of dip mix and one cup of mayo or one cup of sour cream or one cup of yogurt. You're gonna mix two of those but I'm only gonna make one cup. So I'm gonna do one and a half tablespoons of the dip seasonings. I only wanna make one cup. So instead of one cup of mayo and one cup of sour cream, I'm gonna do a half a cup of each. So I'm gonna use my one cup prep bowl, fill it to the half cup mark, okay? And then I'm going to put it right in with my dip mix. And I'm going to show you there's a reason I'm using this bowl. Okay. Then I'm going to fill it up again with a half a cup of mayo. Okay. Because it's measured on the side quarter cup, half cup, three quarter cup, and to the top is one cup. So I'm going to put that down. And I always mix it in a bigger bowl because it gets messy trying to mix it in this bowl. So what I'm gonna do is just stir my half a cup of sour cream, my half a cup of mayo, with my tablespoon and a half of ranch dressing. And it smells delicious. And voila, we have ranch dressing, just enough for what we need. So none is gonna get thrown away or wasted. And what I do is I take it back in the same cup that I used to measure. So the only thing I dirtied were a couple spoons. And I'll get to take this ranch dressing, put it right back into this one cup prep bowl that had the measurements on the side, okay? And I'll take some celery or something out of the refrigerator to lick that bowl clean. I take my silicone lid and bada bing, bada boom, I have one cup of ranch dressing and we did that in like seconds, right? So I hope that helped you to understand. And as you can tell during um, clips, I had a little spillage. Um, I hope that sh helps you learn how to use Epicure seasonings and what they are. If you want more information, Drop me an email, livingwithlisa.keepingitreal at gmail.com. Visit my Epicure website, lisabusky.epicure.com. And follow my Facebook group, Lisa's VIP Keeping It Real Cooking with Lisa. And I do a live cooking demo every Monday at 5 p.m. Of course, this video you're watching, I did record an air on a Monday at 5 o'clock due to a doctor rescheduling an appointment to fit their schedule and not mine. <sighs> Reality, right? We all know what it's like. So it's the first Monday I have missed since we started. And
pretty soon the banana, mini banana breads will be done. So we'll be right back. So don't go away. Three, two. And with that, we've moved on to dessert. The pumpkin pie still needs to chill a little bit more. But the mini banana bread loaves in the perfect petite pan are perfectly ready. And watch how easy they pop out. There you go. A perfect snack size, portion size, brown on the bottom, banana bread and pumpkin pie. And you too can experience Epic Air in your kitchen wearing a sweatshirt and shorts just like me and prepare your meals. And save time. I hope this helped you understand how Epicure's meal options and seasonings work. If you have any questions, remember you can find me on Facebook at Lisa's VIP Keeping It Real Cooking with Lisa or um, via email livingwithlisa.keepingitreal at gmail.com. Bye, everybody. Oh, and lisabusky.epicure.com. Oh, keeping it real. That's what we do.